Welcome to Gliffy, the online diagramming tool available at www.gliffy.com. Uh, my name is Steve Aldrich and I'll be your guide through the Gliffy process. Uh, basically it's a handy tool you can use that allows you to create different diagrams on the grid using uh, these basic shapes and connector lines and such. And you can customize it with colors and, and uh, different text and so forth. So basically on the left over here you have all your different uh, shapes you can use. You get uh, flowchart shapes, network objects, you can even use floor plan stuff if you were uh, wanting to see what a, a room would look like if you moved your furniture around or whatnot. Today we'll just use some basic shapes to get the idea on how the program works. So we'll, in order to get a shape onto the diagram you simply left click, drag it over, um, in order to resize it, you can use these handles to resize. Uh, if you don't like the color, simply click on Modify and you can change the color. To add text, just double click in the middle. And then you can type in your text. Uh, if you don't, if you want to change the text properties, over here on the right, there's a Properties. You can change the font, color, size. When you're done, you just click off to the side and your text is in your box. So let's drag a couple more shapes onto the screen and we'll connect them all together with our connector tool. So the uh, color of the shapes will default to the color uh, that you used in the previous shape. Uh, if you need to change that again, you can just uh, modify it up here at the top. Using the connector tool is fairly easy. You just click on the connector tool. You obtain these plus points where you can connect each of the shapes. Uh, basically, if you hover your connector tool over one of those points, you get a red dot that indicates you're in the right spot. So you left click, drag to the next point you want to connect with, and you have a line connecting the two. Over here on the right, you can adjust the properties of that line, such as the weight, the style, and, you know, arrows on there if you'd like both directions. You can go both directions, or you can make it just one direction. If you don't like the right angle of the line, you can make it a direct line by clicking the straight button right here. Okay, so when we connect the other lines. You all, the line style will default back to the previous one. And we'll connect that one as well. And then if you want to add text to these boxes after you've got them all connected up, you'll need to go back to your pointer tool and you can click on the box, add the text. And again, if you need to adjust your text, you can go over to the text properties box here while your test is selected and adjusted. So once you have your diagram finished, one of the neat things about Glyph is that they'll store it for you right online. So if you need access to it, you can access it from pretty much anywhere. You don't have to worry about carrying around a, a flash drive or a disk or anything with your information on it. What you'll do is you'll go up to File here, and you can click Save and it'll save it to the file name that you gave it in the very beginning. Uh, if you'd really like to, you can uh, click on uh, export as, say, a JPEG image, and it'll ask you where you want to save it. So we're going to save it to disk. We'll just save it in our uh, 121 folder for now. And what it'll do is import the image into a JPEG format, 
which we can then paste into, say, a Word document if we had a, a bunch of text we wanted to go along with this. So that's Gliffy, and I hope you use it. It's a pretty neat program. The future of online programs seems to be very bright these days. They show up more and more. So good luck. Try it out. If you like it, use it. If not, well, thanks for watching my video.